Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to be conducting a tri SLI test using EVGA's latest GTX 280 video card. Now I've been receiving lots and lots of messages from you guys asking why I always go for the high end, highest clock speed cards out there. Why don't I just save myself some money? go for the standard stock speed card and overclock that card like crazy, save myself a bunch of money in the long term. So today we're going to test that theory. I have three of the GTX 280 stock speed cards currently clocked in at 602 megahertz. We're going to put those in the crisis cruncher and we're going to run several benchmarks on those and see what happens and uh, see if any damage can occur long term. So please enjoy the video. This is the EVGA GTX 280 video card. Fantastic card, new on the market as, as you probably know. Uh, this one is a stock speed of 602 megahertz. Uh, decided to go with a stock option speed this time rather than a factory overclock. A lot of you guys out there have been asking me why don't you just go for the, the stock option and overclock it and uh, be happy that way. So today we're going to overclock the GTX 280. We're going to use the EVGA precision software that comes with it and uh, push this until it becomes unstable so we'll see how far it can go. Now let's have a look inside the box and see what comes with this GTX 280 video card. Okay this is our software bundle and information package and there we have our driver disk etc. Oh, it looks like EVGA have actually come up with a much better uh, tag for your computer this time. Then we have our instructional page. Let's have a look at the video card itself. EVGA uh, uh, packaged this one pretty good actually. And there it is, that is the GeForce GTX 280 video card. Now we have another two of these, so we're going to be loading these up into the Crisis Cruncher and SLI. Let's see what else comes in this uh, particular package. We have some power adapter dongles. We have some DVI uh, adapters and our high definition cable leads. So all in all, that's everything that's in the package. So let's uh, load these up into the Crisis Cruncher and have some fun. And here are the three EVGA GTX 280 cards loaded into the Crisis Cruncher and SLI. Been benchmarking these for run about um, seven to ten days. Uh, so let's see what we got. Here we go. This is the Crisis Benchmark stock clock speed, 75 frames per second. And bear in mind, we run in here on anti-aliasing of 16Q. This is the highest that the Crisis Benchmark has to offer and we're getting 63, 80, 80 frames per second then. That is absolutely unheard of. The, uh, these cards are just chewing up Crisis like you'd never believe. An anti-aliasing, they're chewing it up and spitting it out. Crisis is no more. This thing has just busted it wide open wide open unbelievable let's go through the lap here now this is usually the slowest part of the crisis benchmark we're flying around the corner 51 frames a second uh, I, I'm I just I'm just stuck for words this is just unbelievable honestly I, I just don't know how to explain this these cards are just busting crisis wide open go for it guys try SLI get these cards GTX 280s Fantastic, and here we go for verification. Everything is on very high, very high settings here. Let's just check 1680 by 1050 on 16Q. And what do we get? What's the final result? On stock, 32, 32 frames minimum, 77 max. There you go, DX10, 1680, 1050, 16QX, uh, very high. 59.65 frames a second. Whoa. Okay, let's overclock 702. 
We've been doing this for a couple of days now. These cards are getting pretty tired. Whoa! Happy July the 4th, guys. For all you guys in the US, happy July the 4th. We just busted a card. Let's... <laughs> One of the cards has just failed. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can pick that card out. Let's push it a little further. Let's just rub it into the wounds. Throw a little salt in there. Look at that top card. 112 degrees. It's about to go bang. 111. You can boil water at less than this. This is just <laughs> fun. 113. This is what air cooling does. Unbelievable. Overclock and air is bound to have. Whoa, it's gone. Card is just gone. What do we have here, guys? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. See the orange light? There's the failed card right there. That card is now officially dead. Rest in peace, GTX 280. What a way to spoil 650 bucks. Just light it up and burn it July the 4th, guys. That's it. Well, there's our result and conclusion. Uh, pretty interesting. But bear in mind, guys, anytime you overclock any component in your PC, whether it be your memory, your CPU, your graphics card, especially if you're using air as a cooling medium, there is a higher potential of failure anytime. So just be careful. The graphics card manufacturers usually screen and test those chips as they're going through the manufacturing process and the ones that are capable of clocking higher speeds and running at higher temperatures are cast aside and used on those higher end graphics cards because they know those chips and components can run under those higher end conditions. So just be careful and be cognizant of that going forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I'd like to thank you guys who post comments and rate these videos. However, if you're not a subscriber and you do enjoy watching these, as always, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again and take care.